Hi guys, today's video I will be taking you through the journey of finally having ankle surgery and my healing and rehab journey afterwards. Today is August 14th, 2022, and it is the day before my ankle surgery, so I wanted to give a quick background on why I'm having surgery, and so if you don't really care about this like talky part of the reasoning behind my surgery and what it took to get here, I will leave the timestamp below to where you can just jump to morning of the surgery. So like many young kids, when I was really active and I would run around wild and crazy, and through that I would have my fair share of bumps, bruises, and sprains and other minor injuries. The first time I really sprained my right ankle though, I think it was from dance or soccer and that was in November of 2014. I was given a splint to wear for a week and then I was told to go back to normal life. Then in July of 2015, I was at summer camp and I was playing soccer during one of the periods of free time and I severely sprained my ankle. It was severe enough that I couldn't bear any weight on it or walk on it for a whole week, so I had to use crutches for a week. And then once camp was over, I was given a splint to wear for two weeks and then told to slowly go back to normal active life by my doctor. Following this major sprain in the summer of 2015, every three to six months, my right ankle would give out and sprain. Initially, a lot of these sprains were from an activity, but by 2017, I want to say that my ankle would just give out randomly if I was just walking, jogging, or jumping in everyday life. And when I say everyday life, I really mean that. Like, I'm not a super crazy active person. So when I say jogging, I mean, like, I would be running late for something and try to, like, jog across the parking lot so I wouldn't be as late and then my ankle would give out. Or if I was jaywalking across the street and I saw a car coming and I would go to jog the rest of the way, my ankle would give out. Or I'm in college right now, so at sporting events, if I would go to like jump up and down to celebrate a point or a goal or whatever, my ankle would give out. And so like I wasn't really putting a ton of expectations on my ankle, but really couldn't just handle like the everyday activity that I was asking of it. I wouldn't go to the doctor every single time my ankle would give out, but I would go in every now and then, and the doctors would just always say to splint and use the rice method for a week or two, and then kind of I would be good. And so none of the doctors would really look at this as a more chronic, more serious issue rather than a one-off ankle sprain. Doctors would also sometimes take an x-ray of my ankle and then be like, yeah, your x-rays look great, so you should be fine. Even though, obviously, if I'm having like ankle sprains, that that's a ligament, tendon, soft tissue issue, and that's not going to show up on an x-ray. Um, so eventually, I did start doing some physical therapy, strengthening my ankles, but none of these conservative treatments really worked long term because eventually my ankle would give out again. This cycle of my ankle intermittently giving out and having doctors not really pursue anything to treat it more seriously happened from my very first sprain in November of 2014 to November 2021, seven years later. This past November, I was trying to take my dog Bailey for a quick jog up the block before I had to leave him at home alone. And I got about six strides into this jog before my ankle gave out and I went flying down to the concrete. This was the first time I had fallen from my ankles giving out on me and it was the final straw for me personally. I originally put took and posted pictures of like me posing with all my band-aids from how cut up I was from this fall on my Instagram story to like jokingly publicly shame my ankle for giving out on me. And so I still have that picture, so I'll post it right now in the video, but don't worry, I have band-aids over everything so it isn't like a graphic looking picture or anything like that.
After the fall, unfortunately, I had to see a primary care provider first. I could not just self-refer myself to orthopedics. So then I proceeded to have a very bad doctor's appointments with this primary care person who was trying very hard to minimize my symptoms, how they were affecting my life, and the severity of the daily pain my ankle caused because of all of these years of trauma. I had come to that appointment requesting a referral to orthopedics and this primary care doctor said, all orthopedics does is surgery and you don't need surgery, so I'm sending you to sports medicine. This was very upsetting and disappointing for me overall, this doctor's appointment, because I knew I had already done all of the conservative measures available to me and I knew I had already done a lot of physical therapy for my ankle and so that sports med wasn't really going to have any new options to help me and that it was just gonna be a waste of my time. Speaking of wasting my time, I then had to wait three months for sports medicine to see me just to tell me that it was chronic ankle and stability, which I already knew, and that they wanted me to complete physical therapy before they would even MRI my ankle. This was really frustrating for me because after seven years of trauma to my ankle, I believe that warranted an MRI to actually see the state of my soft tissue structures. However, this ad doctor ignored that, had already completed PT, and really wanted me to complete PT under like her request and supervision. So begrudgingly, for two months, I worked very hard to strengthen my ankles as much as possible. When my PT saw my great progress and strength, but my pain and symptoms were the same, we went back to the sports medicine doctor and gave them the update, say, you know, I was working really hard in PT, I was making all this progress with my strength, but it wasn't helping my symptoms and pain at all. So then she finally did order the MRI. Remember, my fall was in November of 2021, and I did not have this MRI completed until April of 2022. I cried in relief and happiness when my MRI results came back, showing that my ligament was in fact small and damaged, and that there was evidence of years of unhealed injury in my ligaments and that general area of my ankle. Before the results came back, I was just really afraid that the MRI was going to come back normal, but fortunately it did not. Following the MRI for a lot of unfortunate but not really important reasons, I was not able to see someone in orthopedics until the very end of June 2022. At this appointment, the doctor immediately took in my ankle history, my symptoms, the MRI results, and did a physical examination of my ankle, and this doctor came to the conclusion that I was a good candidate for ankle surgery. The exact procedure that I'm having done is called the Brostrom Gold procedure with an internal brace. Basically, that means that they are going to try to fix and tighten my damaged ankle ligament, and then following that, they are going to install a fake synthetic ligament over my real ligament by drilling into my bones to secure this fake ligament in place. Some people are really averse to surgeries and get really anxious about them, which is understandable, but for me personally, and because this has been such a reoccurring issue for me for the past seven years of my life, I am really excited about this surgery tomorrow. I know that there are going to be some really difficult moments on this recovery process in the next couple months, but overall, uh, this is the first step to finally getting my ankles back and so I can be more active in my life. And so I'm just really excited to start that journey. I don't know how much I will actually be able to film tomorrow, but my goal is to capture as much as possible on surgery day tomorrow and then all of the following steps of my recovery and rehab process. So with that, I will see you tomorrow morning on surgery day.
Hey, I am out of surgery and finally kind of awake. It took me a long time to really shake off the drowsiness of the surgery. Things went well. Uh, the nurses grabbed me a little soda and some chocolate chip cookies. And we should be um, hitting the road and doing all my discharge stuff pretty soon. But um, I'll see if I can try to show you my big post-surgery wrap around my ankle and calf. And then it goes all the way up here, but I got a table. Hi everyone, it's now 9.30 at night on August the 15th. I had my surgery this morning um, from all those little clips you saw. And so I just wanted to kind of give like a final same day update from surgery day and fill in a couple more details since um, I was pretty busy and the, like everything leading up to the surgery and then after the surgery, I was just like really, really, really tired and I've been like sleeping all day so I haven't had time to really check in quite yet but here is my i'm in the post-surgical wrap there's like a hard splint in here and on this side too here are my little toes i can't move them yet like they're still just like numb and feel weird and then over behind my knee i have a little bruise from where they did the nerve block um yeah, this is my big post-surgical wrap. Then um, I'll have this for the next two weeks. And then two weeks I have my post-op appointment where they'll take this off, take my stitches out, and I believe they're going to put me in a hard plaster cast. But um, basically just talking more about the surgery, my surgeon said things went really well and that he was able to tighten, tighten up everything that he needed to in my ankle. And so I feel really good about that. Um, in general today, I'm feeling pretty good. My nerve block is still in. So like I said, I can't feel like the anything below my knee. It's all really numb. And so um, we'll see how long that lasts. They said the nerve block can last up to like tw 24, 36 hours. So I have a feeling that once my nerve block wears off, that things are going to be a little bit more sore and painful and a little bit more difficult to deal with but um i think that's all the updates i had things are really easy peasy this morning um all my nurses and doctors were all super nice and now i'm at my parents house for the next couple of days just so um i can have their support and help as i move around because I forgot that, like, you can't really carry anything when you use crutches. Also, my crutches are right here, right next to me. So far, no foo paws with those. So, um, I'll show some little clips in between now and my, um, post-op surgery. Just doing some check-ins. Um, my next check-in will probably be, like, once my nerve block wears off. And, um, my surgery spot hurts a lot. But for now... This is the last clip from surgery day. Again, things went really well. I feel really happy and good about everything. And so um, now it's just time to start healing up and um, making some progress to a full recovery. So I'm really looking forward to that. And I will see you in the next clip. Hi, everyone. It is August 16th and I am one day post-op. I just wanted to give a quick little update. This morning I woke up and my nerve block was still for the most part doing its thing. My calf and toes were still pretty numb, um, but that started to wear off in the first couple hours. I was able to start to be able to wiggle my toes pretty well. And then as the nerve block wore off and wore off, my ankle started to hurt pretty badly. Um, I didn't end up taking any of the painkillers they prescribed me because I'm pretty good with just being able to manage and tolerate my pain, but there definitely were some pretty painful moments, especially when I would kind of like move my foot in kind of post-surgical wrap around, even if I wasn't like putting weight on my ankle, sometimes just like moving it around would kind of cause some pretty intense bouts of pain, but overall doing pretty good. Um, 
So I'm pretty glad that even though now that the nerve block is worn off, I think hopefully today was one of the hardest days pain-wise, I guess. I'll just have to wait and see. But um, that's my little update for today. And then I'll show you guys that indeed wiggle my toes if you can see them wiggling. <laughs> so that's the update. Update. It is Sunday, which means I'm six days post-op. The past couple days in between when I filmed like the last real update, I've been doing really well. Pain hasn't been too bad. I've been really mobile. Um, I've been doing really great. This morning I woke up with pretty intense pain in my Achilles tendon area, so not really like where my surgery was. And so I called the clinic just to be like, hey, is this concerning? The doctor was like, no, this can kind of happen just because your ankle has been, you know, casted up for a week now and like your nerves don't like that your ankle hasn't moved. And so there's just some stiffness and pain in there. Um, so that hasn't been like the most fun thing ever. But um, so <laughs> now I'm just kind of doing some things to try to help with that. So one thing she told me to do is to make sure my foot is elevated and then I asked her about icing it and trying to massage the Achilles tendons area. So I have a frozen water bottle to try to see if that freezingness will go through and I'm just kind of rolling this tender Achilles tendon area on the frozen water bottle too. So hopefully this helps. Um, I mean, I got my foot up pretty high. You can see me in the reflection of my computer um, as I'm sitting here working. So hopefully it stops hurting as much here in a little bit. So I was too busy to film the little context for the upcoming clips the day of, and obviously now I have chopped off all my hair, but the next handful of clips are from exactly two weeks after my ankle surgery when I came in for my post-op appointment and they took my big wrap off that had the brace underneath and I was really, really excited for this appointment. I was just also really curious to see what my foot looked like. Uh, I could tell my foot felt very bruised in the weird different areas, so I was like very interested to see if they were going to take it off and my foot was just going to be like a rainbow of colorful bruises and to see the stitches and the surgical site, I was just very curious to see what was under there. Um, and so that appointment was August 29th and so now we're going to jump back to that day.
So I also forgot to film the context for this little clip, but during the time when I was not weight bearing on my ankle for the six weeks afterwards and I was supposed to be using crutches, I developed a bad habit of just jumping around on my good foot. But unfortunately for me, I don't really have a good foot. I had my right ankle, which I just had surgery on and obviously couldn't bear weight on. And then I had my left ankle, that also needs the same surgery I just had on my right ankle, but you can only have surgery on one ankle at a time. And my right ankle was worse, so I did my right first, but my left ankle is also like not great as, you know, doing its job as an ankle. And so I was putting a lot of stress on my left ankle because it was like my sole foot I was using to move around. And so unfortunately when I was at work one day hopping around on my left ankle, it gave out on me in a really sharp, excruciating manner. And I basically just like severely sprained my left ankle while I was non-weight bearing on my right ankle. So that was a really fun time. I had basically, like I said, sprained the only ankle I had left to walk on. And so don't yell at me after this happened. Like I learned my lesson and I stopped hopping around on my ankle. But um, here's a clip of me at work. I see my left ankle with my right ankle also propped up. It's kind of a funny clip to look back on, but in the moment I was like crying and it was very painful and not great. But here's that. Kristen from the future again, after being in my green cast for about three and a half weeks, it was finally time to take it off. After being on crutches for almost six weeks, I was really looking forward to gain, starting to bear more weight on my ankle and to start to walk again. I was so relieved when this day finally came. During my last week with the cast on, I had just grown really, really impatient with having it on and not being able to move my foot at all and not being able to weight bear at all. And it was just this big lunky thing to have on my leg when I was trying to fall asleep. And I was just like over it after six weeks of having the cast on my right leg. And so I was very, very excited for this appointment. And so here are the clips from getting my cast off and the rest of that doctor's appointment. I was originally told after this doctor's appointment that I would be put into a walking boot for a few weeks before transitioning to walking without the boot. However, when my surgeon evaluated my ankle after the cast was taken off, he was really impressed with how well my ankle had healed and how successful the surgery was in tightening my ankle and making it more stable. So because of this, he did not see the need of putting me in a walking boot. Instead, he put me in a lace-up brace 
And he basically said to like go at life as I could tolerate it. And so I was able to tolerate walking on it right away. It was just that my ankle was really, really stiff and I had lost all of my muscle in my right leg and my right calf, as you had saw in the picture I included in the previous doctor's appointment. So for my first week back walking, I had this really noticeable limp and it was just because of how stiff my ankle was and my leg also hadn't walked for six weeks. So it had just really forgotten the motion of how to walk, but slowly day by day, my limp and the pain and stiffness got better and better. So now I am two months post-surgery and about a month back walking on my ankle. I have my first physical therapy appointment for my ankle tomorrow, as I still have a good couple months of really rehabbing and re-strengthening my ankle before I'm 100% and I can get back to hiking and, you know, jumping and like actual kind of like, not intense, activities because again I'm not some crazy athlete but like just kind of getting back to really being able to depend on my ankle like I used to um but I'm looking forward to putting that hard work in but um forever this is where I'm going to end the video about my ankle surgery as always if you have any questions or comments please leave them down below and I will be sure to respond and I hope you enjoy this video of accompanying me through my ankle surgery and recover remember to please be kind to yourself and others and remember that even in the darkest night will end and the sun will rise bye